Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's me. It's Shelly in my backyard. Um, wanted to do something a little different. I think um, kind of switching it up from one place to another might be something a bit different and the sunlight might help the, I don't know, the view of the babies, the coloring and whatnot. But I am sitting in the shade because it's hot as Hades out here. I don't know how it is at your place, but it's hot out here. It is hot. I am in the Midwest. And it is extremely hot out here. It has been for some time now. And um, anyway, that's why I'm in the shade. But if you like this video, please click the thumbs up, subscribe if you want, and um, hit the little bell so you can always be informed whenever I'm having a video. And um, you can come join me and put some comments on there and kind of hang out with me for a bit. Hopefully one day I'll learn how to do a live and uh, we'll be able to do that too and be able to talk to each other kind of more on a real-time situation but i don't want to sit here and talk to myself on a live so i kind of have to get some subscribers and then also i need to learn how to put that little picture up and say hey i'm going to be on live tonight at eight or whenever so everybody can show up i don't know how to do that stuff yet so if there's any seasoned um, collectors out there that have a YouTube channel that want to help us little um, newbies out and do a video maybe on how to do YouTube videos about reborns or maybe um, one about photographing your reborns I'm a terrible photographer I uh, it's kind of like when my kids were little and I would take pictures of them you know like playing outside or whatever it's a whole different shindig doing that than it is like setting it up with an outside photography lesson and having all this beautiful lighting and them actually being nice in the picture and still like picking their nose you know so I don't know it's it's a big different thing whenever I'm doing a photograph and whenever I see other people's photographs <laughs> it's completely different and I noticed that a lot of reborn collectors um, do do a lot of photography so that's something I don't know much about so if, um, if any of the seasoned collectors are looking for something to do, then those would be really good ones for me. And if you guys watch and have any other suggestions, please write them down in the comments. Because even though I'm not a seasoned collector, some of my friends are. And they come and check me out every once in a while. They just kind of thumb through. And I have no idea why, because I don't do anything special or important. But they actually just kind of dig me, I guess, as a person. So um, put some comments down below and they'll read that too. And we can pass that on and maybe they can do something really cool for us as newbies. So for now, I'm just going to change the baby's clothes. Um, this is Parker Douglas. Parker Douglas is my partial silicone. He's the Ives. Um, ooh, he's got a little rash. That's so cute. Um, he is the Ives Sculpt by uh, Birgit Gutzwiller. And I know his, he always looks so fake in this camera thing. But um, he actually is very realistic looking. Extremely realistic looking. He just looks really, really fake on here, but he's not. Um, if you see him in person, it's much, much better. Actually, a friend of my dad's came over the other day. And uh, him and his wife. And his wife was just like so impressed with this doll I don't I didn't even know if she was gonna give him back she held him for so long she's a doll collector so she does love dolls she just hasn't been a collector of reborns or silicones or anything let's see can you even see me changing him from there I don't think you can let me see okay that looks better I think okay so she's a collector of uh, I don't know porcelain dolls and uh, composition dolls and things like that which I think are super cool too um, but she saw him barely gave him back to me because <laughs> she was hugging and loving on him so much so she thinks his little feet are the cutest thing his feet's in his hands I always say feet as if that's like proper I know it's not even though I'm from the Midwest I know that's not a proper thing to say so but I don't care his itsy bitsy feetsies are adorable to me He's got a leaf in his hair. His hair is a hot freaking mess today. That's another one. Um, one of my friends who is a seasoned collector is going to do a video for me and everybody else out there on, um, I don't know, doing the styling your baby's hair. Um, because sometimes I have a really tough time. Um, 
His is pretty thick. It's not bad. You know, it's really thick hair. Hers is blonde, really, really blonde. I'll show you her in a minute. Really super blonde. And so that's difficult for me because our family, we're Native American. Our family has really dark, dark hair um, from the minute of birth. So I don't know how to do blonde hair. You wouldn't think it'd be so different, just a color, but it really is because it looks so thin and fine, even though it's not. It's a little teddy bears, isn't that cute? Little big teddy bears. Got this at the um, Dollar General store. They're so cute though. I didn't even want to get them. I just seen them and I had to. Um, I forgot what I was saying just now. Oh, blonde hair just looks so fine and thin to me that it's hard to, to know how to style that to make it look thicker, you know? It's not like I want to do a bunch of uh, ponytails or anything in her little newborn head. So anyways, um, hopefully that video will come out soon. I will let you guys know about that. Um, uh, she just had told me that she would do that for me at some point. So I'm sure she's got a million other things to do. And this is his little, it's a space outfit. It's got a little spaceship on it. Uh, Beyond Awesome. Uh, Intergalactic Explorer. Very cute. Cutie cutie. Okay. And um, anyways, so there's a couple of ideas coming out there. I did see a video um, yesterday, I think. Um, I think it was, oh, I hate to say the name because I'm going to butcher it. But a lady in um, Australia had a um, video going about a magazine, Australian's woman, Australian Woman's Magazine, um, had in there something about reborn babies and how they are used in television shows there, um, at least one television show there anyway. And I was wondering how many shows, television shows and movies they're used in here in America, that's where I'm at. Um, I was wondering, because I hadn't really ever thought about it before, but I say they're like the easiest thing to use if, you know, it was just a sleeping baby type of part or one where they just need to be in your arms but not really, you know, in a close-up view of moving around or anything. So, anyways, I thought that was pretty, pretty intense, pretty cool, and um, that would be good to know. So, have you guys ever wondered if they use the babies in the movies or TV shows or, you know, I don't know. Have you ever caught them doing that? Maybe a sculpt that you recognized or something? Because I haven't, but I'm not good yet on all the sculpts. Like, I'm still learning. Totally learning. And if, if somebody hadn't told me what he was, I would have no idea because he's so much older um, of a sculpt. And I don't know exactly how old, but I know when I went to uh, reweight him, on the inside he had like metal parts holding him together um, from his silicone to his soft squishy body was like a me metal piece. So maybe that's normal, I don't know, but I'm thinking that might be a little old fashioned. And then his body shape too, um, with how the limbs come out on the side like a little froggy. And he's got little, I don't know, it just looks a little old fashioned to me. but. I don't know. I think that he is an older sculpt, though, and haven't seen but maybe one picture of him uh, when he was a little girl, and it was the woman who owned him before me. So, uh, so yeah, if somebody didn't tell me, I wouldn't even know what his sculpt is. So I'm not good with the sculpts yet, um, but somebody else who is, maybe know. Um, hey, if you do, leave a comment saying I saw whatever TV show or movie or whatever it is, and they used a, a Saskia or whatever. And, uh, and then I'll watch it and see what I think because <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. But if people start doing that, then I'm sure the Reborn community will get even bigger because people will want to, uh, there we go. People will want the, the baby dolls off of this show or that show or whatever it might be. Okay, this is my Joseph Asleep baby and, um, it, she is reborn by Amber up the graph and Amber did a fantastic job on her just absolutely gorgeous gorgeous job and you can get a hold of Amber if you want to if you like the babies that she does you can see more babies that she does on uh, her Facebook page is Little Beans Nursery so you might be able to find her there her name's Amber up the graph at Little Beans Nursery so Anyway, 
what was I saying? Oh, and then if they do, if more people do come to Reborn Community and start collecting, then what? What happens? You know, we, uh, we could have, you know, stores open up to buy them in or, you know, and that would be really, really cool because as much scamming that goes on online, I think it would be really awesome to have a store to walk in and buy them from personally, you know, rather than having to go through online and, you know, getting scammed that way. They could do like a consignment shop even type of deal with the Reborns. I don't know. I just, I think that would be pretty cool if they were more accessible to people. Um, even the doll shows are kind of not accessible to people in the Midwest that maybe can't travel, you know. It's not as uh, easy for some of us to travel with health issues and things like that. And uh, I know I have alluded to health issues a few times, but I have epilepsy. And so it is difficult for me to get out some. And I live with my father. Um, I have two dads. I have, or I had, I had uh, the dad that raised me. And I have my father. And my dad that raised me actually passed on uh, May 27th. And, um, and then I live with my father. I have for some time now. And uh, take care of him. His health is uh, failing as well. So... Um, it's been a very difficult time for me. I've alluded to it a couple of times and not really said much about it, even though people have asked. So um, that is what's going on with me and, you know, with my family. I'm going through a little bit of a situation with, his, with my dad's passing. So that's that. But anyway, uh, it's not so easy to travel when you're in situations where you're caring for others. Um, in their health or when your own health is not so great it's not exactly easy to get out so if they had more um, doll shows and things in the Midwest or you know just just different states where people didn't have to travel so much um, to go and see the dolls it would be fantastic I think so the bigger the bigger everything gets the better it gets I think but what do you guys think would you like to see the reborns more out there um, in the uh, in the states where you live and you know just more people collecting or are you happy the way that it is now and not want to to have those new people in there's a little boppy here oh what a mess got fuzzies everywhere fuzzy fuzzies okay and then here's the the brush here Ooh. And somebody had asked to see her hair last time. I had left the comment to see her hair. And because I usually have a little cap on her. I don't know if you can see it though. We are in the shade and everything. But it's so blonde. It's harder to see because it's so blonde. But she has some beautiful, beautiful hair. It's just a little thinner because she's a baby. And it looks thinner because she's blonde. And, uh,. Like I said, a friend of mine is going to do a video helping me to style her hair a little bit better so that uh, I can figure that out. But for right now, here is my beautiful Penelope. I have named her Penelope. I originally named her Patience because it had taken so long for me to get a reborn. But then I thought, well, she's actually a real born because she is from Bountiful Baby. And she just didn't seem like a patient to me. So I changed her. She seemed more classic, like a Penelope. So I changed her to Penelope. And I tell you, through everything that I'm going through, being able to hold her and change her um, has really, really helped me um, in, you know, the kind of the times that I'm going through right now has really, really helped me to uh, stay happy. Her little face, man. Just that little sleepy face, just so peaceful. And him with his smiles, so happy. It just really, really helps any kind of situation that I'm going through, really, just to hold them and, and uh, have fun, you know, snuggling with them. So, anyways, I love my dolls. I hope everybody loves their dolls. And I'd love to see it expand in the future and have even more doll shows. And um, 
I don't know, more accessibility, like maybe um, there is a uh, mosquito trying to bite my doll. I wonder if it can actually do that. I'm sorry, but that is so interesting to me. A mosquito landed on him and its little tail is going up and down like it is trying so hard to bite my doll. And I don't know whether to smack it off or to sit here and stare at it because it's so freaking weird. I don't know if you can see it on his leg. Is that showing up at all on his leg there? I don't know. But that mosquito is like really trying its hardest to puncture the baby's skin. That is hilarious. Okay, so I have totally lost thought of what track of what I was thinking or getting ready to say or whatever. So hopefully this video made some kind of sense at some point to somebody. And um, anyways, leave me some comments. Let me know how, what you think, um, how you feel about the uh, reborn community getting bigger possibly, or if you've seen any kind of uh, reborns on TVs or movies or whatever. Um, let me know. I love TV. I love <laughs> watching movies. So I'm like a Hulu queen. I, uh, I, like I said, I do have epilepsy, so I stay at home and I care for my dad and we watch a lot of TV. So, um, and a lot of movies. Um, so anyways, just let me know and I'd love to watch them and see what I think about them. And, um, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks.